And Chris, we are off. 4x4 four four Girls Championship here at the VA Showcase. Got to watch out in five and six. That's where Bullis and Heidel are lurking already. It looks like Zoe Goldstein out of South County is off to a strong start, as well as Natasia Ballard. Yeah, Natasia on the break, second place right now, but South County, maybe a couple meter lead right now, and it just looks like Bullis is kind of waiting, as well as Heidel, they're kind of playing off each other, but expecting this last 150 for those two teams to turn it on. That's Leah Phillips out of Bullis making a strong push in the second lap. Bullis holds the next three times ever in the nation in the indoor 4x4, so they're looking to make a statement early. And this is a huge clue close by Bullis coming into the first exchange to Sierra Leonard, that looks like. Sierra with a comfortable lead by about five to eight meters, but Heidel is racing back into this right now. Sierra has gone 56 flat for 400 outdoors. She's definitely got the potential to close very strong in this race. That's Heidel waiting in second, slowly closing that gap. Cherokee Young trying to pull up alongside Bullis. And Cherokee is an amazing talent that we've heard a lot about going into this uh, event. She's going to be racing in the 600 later uh, tomorrow, but Cherokee Young now making a push on Sierra on the outside. Look at this next exchange. It's going to be crucial. Heidel taking the lead on the handoff. It's going to be Gary White and Lauren Harris out of Bullis sitting in second. Western Branch running strong in third. I mean, we knew this race was coming down to these two teams uh, and you know I, they've built that lead already and what does Bullis need to do in these final this final lap in the third leg you know I don't know they're right on the on the cusp part now I think the big one is covering moves making sure that Heidel doesn't make a strong strong move and pull away because it's those moves in this last 500 meters of this race that are really really gonna hurt and you can see it right now Lauren is trying to hold on as much as she can to Heidel's leg right now all you gotta do is give your anchor a chance for Bullis. The defending champ here at the VA Showcase in the 4x4, but will Heidel take it this time around? That's Jada Martin out of Heidel and Leah Phillips out of Bullis on this last leg. Now there's a lot of strategy that has to go into this, this leg itself. I mean, she's gotta have enough energy in the final lap to really make one last move. I mean, she's gotta cover this Heidel girl right now. Hey, she looks like she's slowly moving up. Looks very relaxed and under control. And here we go. Last lap. It's 3.13. This is winning time right here. And on the back stretch, starting to make her move on the outside. <laughs> there she goes. What a move. Are we going to see bullets again? Wow, look at that statement. Leia Phillips coming into the finish line with the win here for Bullet School, second straight year. They take the 4x4 Girls Championship. What an amazing last lap out of Phillips. You know, it's not surprising to me. <laughs> yeah, when you got an athlete like that, you know, these things happen. <laughs> well, that is a wonderful start to the Invitational and AU races here at the VA Showcase on Friday. Uh, plenty more to come. And next up on the track is the boys 4x4. Four four. Over the last couple of years, Bullis has really begun to build that sprint power and quarter milers, 200 meter runners, you know, even in the hurdles too, they're just becoming something special that you see every year.